But Michael, um, a frustrating night for you? Yeah, really frustrating. Um, a difficult night because you know we wanted to we wanted to go through, we wanted to win the game. We thought we'd had enough. Um, again, I thought we started the, the game really brightly, um, and then it sort of turned into more of you know a bit, bit disruptive. You know, we've made changes, so you can expect a little bit of fluidity not there, but. It became a little bit easier for them and we didn't take chances probably we should have took. Um, maybe a bit wasteful in, in, in the final third and then it sort of, they, it sort of played into their hands for me too easily. Um, but yeah, frustrating night. Um, wanted to win the game as we all did. Um, but yeah, we go again on Saturday in a big game. Yeah, we saw a lot more of a direct style of play from your side tonight. Was that always the plan? Um, sometimes, but we need to be better at managing that. We need to be better at understanding when to do that and when to play a little bit more and how we do that so I thought like we've not come across teams that play so low sometimes and in the second half they were really low and we we're still doing you know playing if you like the diagonals and playing direct when at times we could play a little bit more so I think part of our challenge is as, as we keep moving it is when do we play against teams that are low block and how do we how do we get better at that and how do we not waste it when we do get there and how do we keep them in there a little bit more so um, yeah disappointing to lose the game um, but lots to learn from for a, for some of them out there who are really young and I, I probably at, at times when you put you know, a few youngsters on the pitch, it looks like that. And I think it did at times. And on that, the decision making of the players, how much of that is about them seeing what's happening and, and them sorting it out themselves, apart from you, know, you and, and Tom and Scott <laughs> and everybody screaming at them from the switchline? Yeah, I think that's the hardest bit. And that's what you get from experience and maturity, where um, the decisions to be made uh, sometimes seem really basic, but they're difficult, you know, like how we chase when we're 2-1 down. Is really important because we can be more we can be more risk taking and at times I thought you know we could have we could have played more to get higher up and then then cross or then get on the last line whereas we were we were hitting diags from really low because we didn't take the risk so two one you know with ten to go take more risks take more risks so that's that's the bit it's about the game moments for me it's about having the experience to know how to deal with those situations better um, if we come up against that we'll sure we'll sure learn a lot. Um, but yeah, just I'm disappointed because again we did have big chances. You know, I think there's a couple of chances. JJ, uh, Freddie, you know, we've had the chances to win the game or, or go one 0 up, and then we've got caught on a on a couple, which is yeah, not as really. Um, on the changes you made at half time, was that just about the load of the, the players in Ethan and, and Cordy? Yeah, for sure. Like um, big game Saturday, we you know we knew what we were doing in coming into the game it was going to be difficult with minutes, um, but and that's why you know Tom Hamer's come in. It's not been very well, but he got through 90. Obviously, Lewis Monsimos his first competitive game, and it's hard. So again, it's not pre-season; it's a competitive game. So there's some really good things that come out of it. Um, it may, you know, Zach in goals, competitive minutes. So there's lots of um, there's lots of positive out there, but it just doesn't feel like that when you lose. When when you think we probably should have had enough to win the game, or at least go one two nil up, and then we can control the game. So at the end, we're chasing um, when I think we didn't need to. We could have got control of it earlier. And I suppose important now the players can recover for what will be a, a, a tough test on Saturday. Yeah, really tough test. We, we know Barnsley are good. You know they'll bring a big crowd. It'll be hopefully be rocking, and we're going to have to be at our best, and we're going to have to be good. Um, I'm going to have to work hard on the training pitch this week to make sure we're ready for for what's coming. Um, but yeah, disappointed. We're all disappointed because we wanted to go through, but in the same sense, we've got to look forward, not back. Does it feel like one of those evens that in the short term it feels like a real negative but it could be turned into a positive in the long term because of the learnings you'll get from this game? Yeah, the learnings are a positive, the losings are negative. That's the reality. I don't want to lose games. So like whatever we do, we want to win games. Not and whoever we put on the pitch, we want to win games. We want to be consistently winning. So, you know, the negative is losing, but there's lots to be lots to learn in there. Um, but again, like it's just managing the moments and managing against different teams and you know, I thought they were really resilient, they sat in, they, they have a, a low block and we just got to be more creative but also take less touches at times. When, yeah, I, the desire was from the individuals trying too much and have too many touches too because they wanted to force the game when we could have been better as a team and move the ball better as a team. Michael, thanks for joining us. That's, uh...